Superbase Auth allows you to easily authenticate your users and makes authorization simple at any point in your user's request. Today, we're introducing two new concepts to how we manage keys at Superbase. The first is a new set of API keys, a publishable and secret key, which replace the existing Anon and service role keys. The second is JWT signing keys, which allow your application to verify whether a user is signed in or not without waiting for a slow network request to the Superbase auth server. Both are currently opt-in and require no additional changes to your application's logic. So the publishable API key is a direct replacement for your Anon key. This is totally safe to use client-side, as long as you have your tables secured with something like RLS. And the secret key, similarly to the service role key, should only ever be used server-side. To make this process even safer, you can now generate multiple secret keys for specific systems that need admin access to Superbase. This is particularly useful for mobile app development. Revoking or rolling a secret key is a much simpler process and greatly reduces the blast radius if a key happens to be leaked. With JWT signing keys, you can now set up Superbase Auth to use an asymmetric JWT, meaning its validity can be securely verified by your application without needing to send it to the Superbase Auth server. JWT signing keys will greatly improve the efficiency of authorization, especially if you are doing this on every page load in something like middleware in Next.js, for example. If you want to go deeper with the new API and JWT signing keys, then check out this video right here. We refactor an existing Next.js app to use these new keys and greatly increase the performance of load time. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.